some observations about this uh, tune that I'm driving with at the moment. This is uh, tunes from 59diesel.com using the NM3 tuner. And at the moment I happen to be running the 12 valve tune, which means that the pre-injection event is no longer present. So this is a early third gen common rail running with a single injection event with this tune. And in the case of the uh, 03 to 04, which were the very first years of the common rail Cummins, there were two injection events, a pre-injection event and a, and a main injection event. The purpose of the pre-injection event is for sound control. They are much quieter than the late, uh, well, re really the first or the second gen uh, Cummins trucks, which were, which utilized mechanical injectors. So the pre-injection event on the early third gen common rail is for sound control, it's to assist in cold starts, and it's questionable if it has something to do with the emissions, I'm not sure about that. But I'm doing some uh, testing here uh, on a long trip, I'm on the interstate right now, and on the way to my destination I was using his EcoTune, which maintains the pre-injection uh, pre event and the main injection event. So two injection events on that tune, but then this tune is the 12 valve tune, which only has a single injection event. When I drive, I like to keep it at 65 miles per hour. I find that's the best bang for the buck in terms of fuel economy and getting where you're going in a timely fashion. What I'm noticing here with this tune is that to maintain 65 miles an hour on the same route, under really the uh, same conditions of, of temperature and all that, the RPMs are couple hundred lower. They're running between 16 to 17, whereas before they were running around 18 100 to 1900. And the throttle position, I'm able to maintain 65 miles per hour. So the throttle position with uh, this 12 valve tune is running between 18 to 20. And with the other tune, with the pre-injection event, it's around 20 to 25. So, so far the RPMs and the throttle position to maintain 65 miles per hour on this route have each been lower. The EGTs are saying around 700 on this tune, and that's pretty similar to how they were on the other tune. Uh, when I'm going up a hill like I am now, they may go up to 800, maybe 900 at the most. But, uh, so the EGTs are pretty much the same, but uh, when I get to my destination, I'm gonna see what my uh, fuel economy was here. Another observation I'll make is the sound. like a second gen 24 valve the ones that were made from 1998.5 to 2002 so if you're into that kind of thing you definitely like the uh, 12 valve tune. and the uh, turbo spool up seems to be about the same and also I guess I should probably talk about the build on this truck I've got 100% over extra G injectors on this truck dual CP3s uh, 165 fast lift pump and I've got uh, compound turbocharger set up on your state from stainless diesel s362 over s475 with a uh, second gen swap with a t3 flange and a 1.15 uh, ar exhaust housing with uh, billet compressor wheels it's a little spool going up the hill here I've got a 5-inch uh, Flow Pro straight piped exhaust. These uh, 03 to 04 trucks were not equipped with catalytic converters from the factory, so this is a free-flowing 5-inch pipe from the second turbo all the way up the tailpipe. Pull in here and get some diesel, see what the fuel mileage is. Also note that the uh, idle is set to 800 on this one. So let's take a look at the tune. ECM tuning, ECM custom file so you see here it's called 12 valve ECM and I'll note that he also has a 12 valve horsepower tune which adds 120 horsepower with no pre-injection event and then there's actually five other uh, tunes too you can check out his website at 59diesel.com if you want to see those so the fuel mileage ended up being 
with this 12 valve tune ended up being 20.08 miles per gallon. And that's with the air conditioner being on full blast for the entire drive. So I'm pretty happy with that considering the uh, fueling of this truck, and the weight of this truck. I'm pretty happy with that 20.08 with this tune. The Eco Tune that I tested uh, before this one ended up being 18.5 miles per gallon. So this is a significant improvement in fuel economy by eliminating the, uh, the pre-injection event. And I'm really happy with the way it performed too. And I like the sound, uh, that, that could be subjective. Some might think it's too loud, but I actually enjoy the sound of it. So this is probably gonna be my new go-to tune for the warm weather. I do like to maintain the pre-injection event when it's uh, freezing outside or sub-zero. Although that being said, uh, 5.9 diesel uh, with this 12 valve tune, it's actually set up where the pre-injection event will be maintained until the coolant reaches, I believe, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and then uh, and then it'll actually tune out the pre-injection event. So he did consider that uh, cold starts when he uh, created these tunes. So this tune ran great. I'm happy with it. I'm going to run it all summer long. And I'm, I'm just going to purely speculate here. I, what I'm about to say, I have no evidence to back it up, but I would speculate that eliminating the pre-injection event might increase the longevity of the injectors. Because rather than having two injection events where the injector has to open and close twice uh, per, con per combustion event, now it only has to open up one, one time. So I guess one could, could also argue that now that it's only opening one time, it has to open for longer for a longer duration, a longer pulse width to get the amount of fuel needed for, for the power. But in my particular setup with the 100% over injectors, they're flowing a lot more fuel while they're open. So I don't think that that would necessarily be the case with this setup. So uh, only time will tell, but uh, I definitely like this tune and I think this is gonna be my new go-to uh, go tune. So I uh, hope this was informative to you and you enjoyed it. I do plan to upload pretty soon some more uh, more detailed uh, fuel economy analysis with these different tunes that I'm working on right now and probably uh, more content like this to come so if you're interested check back later or subscribe however you want to do it thanks for watching